This is the first time that the jury has heard directly from Max Clifford in his own words as to what he makes of all the allegations. And it came in the form of a series of police interviews that he gave in the days after his arrest for these allegations of indecent assault that date back to the 60s, 70s and 80s. And in those police interviews, he denied any wrongdoing. Totally untrue was the phrase that he kept using over and over again. He talked about a letter that he'd received from one of the alleged victims that called him a paedophile, that called him a vindictive man. And he said that that was just a nasty, anonymous letter and that he wasn't a paedophile and that the allegations were ludicrous. He went on to talk about how he did admit to making prank phone calls, to phoning people up, pretending to be someone else. But he said he did that to try and test people, to check them out, rather than to try and manipulate young girls, as the prosecution have previously argued in this trial. Now, Max Clifford will get the chance to go into the witness box and elaborate on many of these points when the defence start their case. That may be as early as tomorrow. And he will be able to explain why he denies all of the charges that he faces.